Thank you, Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Oh, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Oh, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hallelujah, family. God bless every one of you. You are welcome here in the mighty name of Jesus. Sandaga Flores, God bless you. Bonnie Addison, God bless you. Oxila Mumbai, God bless you. Happy to see you. It's been ages, Oxila Mumbai. Happy to see you. Child of God, God bless you. You are welcome. Mrs. Lindell, God bless you. You are welcome. Val Nicole, God bless you. You are welcome. Everyone joining, God bless you. Please, as you come in, touch the like button. As you come in, just go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Please, you can share on your status, share on your timeline, share on your Facebook. Just share the live broadcast. Invite someone. Ask Manabat, God bless you. You are welcome. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We is happy again to be in the presence of the Lord. We is excited again. King David say, say, said, I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Who is excited to be in the manifest presence of God. Hello, BBBB. God bless you. Hallelujah. Jacqueline Morrison. God bless you. You are welcome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is another opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one with God. This is another opportunity to worship your maker. This is another opportunity to sing praises to his name. It is going to be not right. It's going to be not proper if you cannot worship the Lord. If you do not sing praises to his name, he says, if you do not worship me, I'm going to raise up stones to worship me. So why would God raise up stones to worship you where you are? When, when there is a Mrs. Liddell, when there is an Oxila Mumbai, when there is BB Bibi, when there is Jacqueline Morrison, when there is Prophetess Angie, why will God cause stones to rise up and worship in where you can? Please, in a few minutes, just raise up your worship to the Lord. In a few moments, just worship God and bless his mighty name. In a few minutes, just go ahead and say, Lord, I worship you. I exalt your name, King of glory. I give you all the praise for who you are. I exalt Exalt your mighty name. La Koshina Malatai. Regede Debo Shabalatai. Angels are praising God. Why won't you praise him? The elders, the 
may bow down in worship. Why won't you give him your praise? Come on, somebody, let your praises go up to heaven. Father, we give you all the praise. Abba, Father. Father, we give you all the praise. The rock of ages. The I am that I am. The bride and the morning star. We worship you. The ancient of days. You are so old and yet you remain the same. You have not changed. We exalt your mighty name. The lily of the valley. The bride and the morning sun, the rose of Sharon, Elana Mashabalatai, Ikalamana Masubrahande Rabaha, the lion and the lamb. Yes, you are the Lord Most High. You are the Lord Most High. You are the Lord Most High. I give you all the praise, Jesus. I give you all the adoration. I say, Rain, Lord, Rain, Lord, Rain, Lord, over this life session. Have your way and reign over this life session. Have your way and reign over this life session. Have your way and reign in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You do not change. You have not changed. You do not change. There is nobody like you. There is nobody like you. You are the merciful God. You are the merciful God. You are the all sufficient God. You are the all sufficient God. You are God all by yourself. You do not need me to reign. You do not need each and every one of us to reign. You can do anything you want to do all by yourself. You do not need me to be God. You are sufficient. You are God all by yourself. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his court with praise. If you know that God is here, then do not be silent. Let your praises go up to the Lord. Let your maker know you are in his presence to worship. Let your maker know you are in his presence to worship. He is the way maker God. He is the all merciful God. Let your praises rise. Let your praises rise. Let your worship rise. Lana mashanta la baba bahai iana ko sina malana mashataina regede de de bo shabalatai i can do this all day i can worship the lord all day i can sing praises to his name all day because he deserve it he deserve it he is worthy of it all he is worthy of it all from him are all things and to him are all things he is worthy of it all laka shadabalatai irregenta la Father, we worship and we adore you. We worship and we adore you. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. You remain the same God. You do not change. You have not changed. Yeshua, Amashiach, Lion of Judah. Agune chemba Yeshua Amashira the lion of Judah the bride and the morning star Father we are before you today to worship you we give you all the praise Lord we give you all the glory Father come and inhabit our praise this morning Come and inhabit our praise. Come and glorify yourself in our midst this day, Lord. Come and glorify yourself in our midst this day. Receive all the praise and receive all the adoration. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of the living God, I submit myself to you as a vessel unto you. Use me for your glory. Glorify yourself this day, oh God, through your daughter, 
in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. They better get ready because God is about to surprise them all. They better get ready. The blessing will be so loud. It's, gonna, it's going to be as a disturbance everywhere. Because, you know, how did, how did God minister to me? How did I know what I was about to, what about, what I was about to minister to Ross in this live session? For a moment, God began to minister to me. He said, there are mistakes we have done and people have seen that we made mistakes. Of course, human beings, we are not perfect. There are some mistakes we did. And because people think Christianity does not exempt us from reality. That is one thing people forget to know. Christianity does not exempt us to rea from reality. You might be a woman of God, a man of God, a daughter of God. You love the Lord so much, you serve him passionately. And people around you see that you love the Lord and you serve him passionately. And something happened, you made a mistake. You made a mistake and it is common knowledge. Everybody knows that you made this mistake. And they are really expecting that God will punish you so badly for it. They are really expecting that that mistake becomes the reason for your downfall. They are expecting that because of that mistake, God is going to read the you and God will show you shame. But the Lord told me that because the, the, their expectations of you are not good. You know, the Bible says God will frustrate the expectations of the wicked. Not because they, the wicked do not expect evil for you because you are doing all right things. No. Because they, are, they have seen a weakness. They have seen something you are not doing right. And they are like, God will punish this person. God is going to punish you for this thing you have done. God will frustrate you. Please, family, let's give the video a thumbs up. Everyone that is joining like, please touch the like button. Let the Lord know you are here. Touch the like button. Anamashatai. They do not know that our God is a forgiving father. He do not, they do not know that God is forgiving. He is loving and he is forgiving. And he does not rely on them. He does not, he, 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 God's blessing to you is not determined whether they like you or not, whether they like your face or not, whether they think you did right or they think you did evil. God blesses you because he has chosen to. He said they better get ready for you in this season. All of those people who thought you are going to encounter the judgment of God for a mistake you did. God is about to burst their bubbles. God is about to burst their bubbles. God is about to show them that he is still a merciful God. God is still about to show them that he is still a merciful God. The Lord led me to the book of Romans chapter 9 and verse 16. Romans chapter 9 and verse 16. Romans chapter 9 and verse 16. The Bible says, so then God's choice is not dependent on human will. No, on human effort, the totality of human striving, but on God who shows mercy to whomever he chooses. It, it is his sovereign gift. God shows mercy to whomever he chooses. Ah, he says, I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. Elanama Shabalatai. Somebody you are about to experience the mercy of God that will live on Lucas perplexed. They will be like, no, this is not happening. This is not happening. They are not deserving of this blessing. They are not deserving of this thing that God is about to do. Elana Shabalatai. Mareko Shimanatai. God is about to show you mercy to the yes pens of the people that know. Yes, yes, they, yes, they know that you sinned. Yes, they know that you fell. They saw it. It is common knowledge. And they know that because of that, you are supposed, God is supposed to condemn you. The Lord sends me to tell you. He he is about to burst their bubbles and show you mercy. He's about to burst their bubbles and show you mercy and show you compassion. They better get ready for you. They better get ready for you because God is showing you mercy against all odds. God is showing you mercy against their will. Oh my goodness. If you knew where I was coming from with this prophetic word, if you knew the insight God gave me, you are going to celebrate him better. You are going to celebrate him better because there are some people, they know you are a Christian. They have never really approached you about it, but they monitor your life to see if you live a perfect life. Of course, nobody is perfect. Our righteousness is in Christ Jesus. The Bible says our own righteousness is like filthy rock. What covers us is the righteousness of God. It's not 
not about what we have done right, but it is about the righteousness of God. And God is about to prove it to them. God is about to prove it in the life of somebody that it is not about you, but it is about his mercy that is speaking in your life. It is not about you. It is about his mercy that is speaking in your life. It is not about you, but it's about his mercy that is speaking in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is about to frustrate the counsel of the wicked over your life. God is about to frustrate the expectation of the wicked over your life. God is about to frustrate the expectation of the wicked over your life. They expect you to perish. They expect you to remain unmarried because you were once married and maybe you left that relationship. You were once married and you got divorced. Maybe it was even your fault. You got married and it was your fault that you got divorced and they are like you are going to remain single for the rest of your life. God is about to show you mercy. God is about to show you mercy. God is about to show you mercy and bless you with a, with a kingdom marriage that will glorify him. God is about to show you mercy and bless you with a kingdom marriage that will glorify his name in the mighty name of Jesus. You made a mistake in your place of work and you got fired. You made a mistake in your place of work and you got fired and your former boss is there thinking and your former colleagues, they are thinking that that is the end of you. God is about to buy his mercy, give you a better paying job in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, la nama shanta la prahande ko shabalatai. As many as believe you this morning, Father, let your mercy take over in their life. As many as are believing you this morning, for this word you are releasing, let your mercy take over. Mercy over judgment. Mercy over judgment. Mercy over judgment. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you say you have not sinned, you call God a liar and the truth is not in you because the Bible says for all I've seen and I've come short of the glory of God. So nobody is exempted in this prayer. I am not exempted. You are not exempted. But I pray that God will show mercy over judgment. God will show mercy over judgment. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, you deserve to perish. Yes, you deserve to remain lonely. Yes, you, you deserve to be be unemployed. Yes, you deserve to not have any child because of the many abortions you have done. But God says mercy over judgment. God says mercy over judgment. God says mercy over judgment. In the mighty name of Jesus. God says mercy over judgment. In the mighty name of Jesus. The expectations of the of the wicked will be frustrated over your life. The expectations of the wicked is being frustrated over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You do not deserve it. This is going to be your confession. Lord, I do not deserve it, but you did it for me anyways. Lord, I did not deserve it, but you did it for me anyways. Lord, I did not deserve it, but you did it for me anyways. Alakai shana malatai, elemene mo shibalatai, regenta la baba basu balatai. God is turning around your situation. He is showing you mercy over judgment. Everyone is is waiting to see how God is going to rain down His judgment upon you. But God says He shows mercy to whom He He pleases. And today the mercy of God is locating you for great works. The bless the mercy of God is locating you for testimonies. The mercy of God is locating you for miracles. In the mighty name of Jesus, they better get ready for you. They better get ready for you. They better get ready for you because the blessing will be so loud, it is going to frustrate their minds. It will be so loud, it's about to burst their heads. Allah kanama shatalatai, the counsel of the wicked. Yes, they have seen a reason to nail you, they have seen a loophole in your life. They have seen a reason to nail you. They have seen a loophole in your life. They have seen a mistake you made. And they, are, they have gone to hold a meeting to deliberate.
carried on that to sanction you. They have gone to uh, ahead to hold a meeting to see how they can crucify you because of that mistake. But the Lord says in the book of Psalms chapter 33, the counsel of the wicked shall be brought to north. Wherever they are gathered and their plan is to use their mistake to bring you down. God will frustrate their agenda in the mighty name of Jesus. God is frustrating their agenda in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe I am not here for you. Maybe this. Maybe you're too righteous for this life session. Maybe you've been having everything right in your life and this life session is not for you. Then you're just going to intercede for us. Just intercede for us as we pray. But if you have made a mistake, take somewhere. If you have made a mistake in the course of your life and you think that somehow the repercussions of your mistakes are coming upon you, then this life session is for you. Then this life session is for you because the Lord says he is showing you mercy. God says he is showing you mercy. God says he is showing you mercy. The Lord says he is showing you mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is showing you mercy. Mercy over judgment mercy over judgment. God is about to burst the bubbles of the spectators that have been looking at you. God is about to burst their bubbles. Because you're not going to be I don't know who this word is for, but the Lord says I should tell you, your Christianity will not be brought to mockery. Hmm. Your Christianity will not be a mockery. Hey. God says, I don't know who this word is for, but the Lord says your Christianity will not be a mockery. It will not be a mockery. Your Christianity will not be a mockery. People will not say, I thought I heard that God is a merciful God. How come this one is now paying for their sins? How come this one? Your Christianity will not be a mockery in the mighty name of Jesus. People will not use your Christianity to to laugh at you. You know, there are two sets of people. There are people who are just onlookers, maybe your neighbors, the people around you you. They know you serve God and they know that they have heard that God is a merciful God. When they start seeing some kind of things happening to you, they will start questioning. They will start questioning like, I thought God is a merciful God. How is it possible that this person is still suffering because of what they did? And there is another set of people, those people who are holier than thou in the body of Christ. Those people who are holier than thou in the body of Christ. Those people who, because they have not been caught yet, because their own sins have not been brought to life, Maybe your maybe what you did is common knowledge to everybody. Their own sin has not been brought to light, and this and they are judging you whose whose mistake is common knowledge. And they say there is no forgiveness for you. And they say you have you 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 have you have fallen from grace. God is about to shock them in this season. God is about to shock them in this season. God is about to shock them in this season. God is about to use your life to show that he is a merciful God. God is about to use you as a testament of his mercy. Hey, Allah subrahandaya. God says, I will show mercy to whom I please. It is not about what you think. It is not about your holier than thou attitude. It's not about whether, no, no, no. I will show mercy to whom I please. God is showing you mercy, Richard Joba, in the mighty name of Jesus. Timothy, God is showing you mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. 55 of you plus me, 56. We are all in this together. God is showing us mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Mercy over judgment. Mercy over judgment. Yes, you did it. Yes, you did it. It is not false accusation. Yes, you did it. But the Lord is showing you mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. It is not false accusation. Yes, you did it. But the Lord is showing you mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey. Alama shantala baba bahaina nabaha. Elekenene mo si balata namamaha. This is when you are going, you know, <laughs> this is when you're going to experience the partiality of God for good. You are going to experience the partiality. Ah, bahande kata. You are going to understand that God is partial sometimes because of how God is going to exalt you despite your mistake. God wants to use you to show his mercy. Oh, kanama shabalata ina. Elemene kosi mana talabrahanda. Who am I ministering to this morning? Who am I ministering to? Who am I speaking to in this life session? God is about to use you to showcase his mercy. God is about to use you to showcase his mercy. Yes, you went. Yes, you did wrong. They caught you red-handed. 
you were caught red-handed. It's not like, it's not false accusation. You did wrong, but the Lord is showing you mercy today. The Lord is showing you mercy today. The Lord is showing you mercy today. I see somebody, God is restoring priesthood upon you. God is restoring your priestly anointing. God is restoring your priestly anointing. God is restoring. I see a restoration. There was something you did. This is somebody that has the call of God upon their life. There was something you did and you were kept in the dark because of that thing. There was something you did and you were kept in the dark. The mercy of God is coming upon you and his light is shining upon you again. The mercy of God is coming upon you and his light shining upon you again this prophetic word is for somebody you have the call of god upon your life and you know it there was something you did that kept you in the dark there was something you did that kept you in the dark by the mercy of god he is shining his light upon you again by the mercy of god he is shining his light upon you again by the mercy of god he is shining his light upon you again mercy over judgment mercy over judgment Mercy over judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every plan of the devil to make your Christianity a ridicule. Every plan of the devil to make your Christianity a mockery. Be scattered by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every plan of the devil to make your Christianity a mockery. Be scattered by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Ayanama shabalatai. Rekede dedebo shabalatai. Manene mo shabalatai. Rekede raba shamanata. Ela raba subrahande kataya. God is turning around your shame. God is turning around your disgrace. God is turning around your shame. God is turning around your disgrace. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is turning around your shame. God is turning around your disgrace. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is turning around your shame. Turning it around. God is turning it around. God is turning it around. Elama Shabalataya. Barako Subrahandaya. Somebody go ahead and begin to confess. Say the mercy of God is speaking for me. Go ahead and begin to confess. The mercy of God is speaking for me. The mercy of God is speaking for me. Confess it yourself. Say the mercy of God is speaking for me. Mercy over judgment. Mercy over judgment. Mercy over judgment. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mercy. I, I feel the presence of the living God in this life session. I see confirmations of the manifest presence of God. The mercy of God is speaking for me. Mercy over judgment. Mercy over judgment. Yes, I am getting married again to the man of my dreams. Yes, I am, I am having a child again. Yes, God is giving me another opportunity at my job. God is giving me another opportunity with my business. The mercy of God is speaking for me. The mercy of God is speaking for me. The mercy of God is speaking for me. The mercy of God. The mercy of God is speaking for me. Mercy over judgment. Mercy over judgment. Onlookers are going to see and testify that indeed there is a merciful God. If this person can still have this thing, it means God is merciful. If this person can still get married again and has a beautiful marriage, then God is merciful. If this person can still have a job, then God is merciful. If this person, if this good thing can still happen to this person, despite the fact that they did something wrong, then God is merciful. You shall testify of the mercy of God. You shall testify of the mercy of God. You shall testify of the mercy of God in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall testify of the mercy of God. You shall testify of the mercy of God. See, do you know what the mercy of God is? What did King Saul do that kingship was taken away from him? Disobedience. He was just disobedient. He was just disobedient and, and, and God rejected him. And kingship was taken away from him. The throne was taken away from him. Do you know what David did? And God maintained him. 
Ha, Balana Shadabahai. Do you know what David did? David was a murderer. As a matter of fact, he started by taking somebody's wife, sleeping with somebody's wife. When he realized that the person's wife got pregnant, he was trying to fix the mistake. He killed the man, took the man's wife, killed the man. And God still maintained him as king. That is the mercy of God. That is the mercy of God. I can imagine the elders, they are perplexed. They are asking themselves, what kind of God is this? What kind of God is this? One person made a mistake of just being disobedient and the throne was taken away from him. Another person killed and took somebody's wife and God maintained. That is how you are going to experience the mercy of God that will keep people perplexed. The mercy of God that will keep people asking, but what is going on? The mercy of God that will keep people talking. People will gather in their corners and they are having meetings like, how come this person is not deserving of this? This person is supposed to experience the wrath of God for what they did. But God will show you mercy, mercy over judgment. God will show you mercy, mercy over judgment. Yes, you did wrong, but God is showing you mercy. I see people gathering in their clusters and you are the topic of discussion. What are they talking about? How is it that this person could elude the judgment of God? How could they escape the judgment of God? How is it that God blesses them? Ah, nama shanti labaha, namaha. Ya baba baba shanta labaha. Guess what? And I, my goodness, glorious God, the mercy of God. Guess what happens? And God decides to, to the woman with whom, Beth, the woman with whom, Beth Sheba, the woman with whom he committed um, adultery and killed the husband, God decided to make the woman seat king. That is King Solomon. Ha! The mercy of God. 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 That same woman with whom he committed whatever he did. That same woman. God made the woman seed king. That is the mercy of God. God is somebody under the sound of my voice. You are about to experience the mercy of God. Oh, Malana Mashanta Labrahandi Kosi Balatai Nabaha. Elemene Mo Shabalatai. God is about to show you mercy over judgment. God is about to show you mercy over judgment. God is about to show you mercy over judgment. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are not deserving of it. That is why it is called mercy. You do not deserve it, but yet God is doing it for you. You do not deserve it, but yet God is doing it for you. I receive the mercy of God over judgment in my life. I receive the mercy of God over judgment in my life. You do not deserve it, but yet God is doing it for you. People are going to be perplexed. They better get ready. God is about, God's mercy is about to prevail in your life over judgment. In the mighty name of Jesus, God's mercy is about to prevail in your life over judgment. In the mighty name of Jesus, God's mercy. I started by saying, if you know that you are not in this category, if you know you've never done anything wrong, that 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 would attract the judgment of God, then just join, just intercede for us. Just join and intercede for us. Just join and intercede for us. But if you know that you've done something that the, that the judgment of God could come upon you, then you are going to say, Lord, let your mercy speak for me. Mercy over judgment. You will be intentional with your prayers and you say, please, Lord, mercy over judgment. Mercy over judgment, Lord. Let your mercy speak for me. Let your mercy speak for me. Mercy over judgment. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mercy over judgment. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we thank you for your mercy that is speaking for us over judgment. We thank you for your mercy that is speaking for us over judgment. We do not deserve it, Lord, but because of your mercy. We do not deserve it, Lord, but because of your mercy, things are changing. Things are changing. Things are changing. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, glorious God. Thank you, beautiful King. Thank you, Lord. Things are changing. Mercy over judgment.
mercy over judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word. We know that your word will not come out and return to you void without accomplishing the purpose for which it was sent. Father, we thank you for receiving mercy over judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for looking away on our weaknesses and for pouring your mercy upon our life to make a difference in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, if you feel led in your spirit, you want to plant a seed connecting to the prophetic prayers, connecting to prophetic words, connecting to prophetic declaration. You want to connect to mercy over judgment. You want to stretch your faith and you say that I am, you know, you just want, you just want to stretch your faith to connect to mercy over judgment. I give you an opportunity to do that. People are already doing that already, but I still have to say this for the benefit of those who do not know. It's always important to say it for the benefit of those who do not know. If you want to do that, at the top of your screen, you have a PayPal, Cash App, and mobile money information. You can use, if you want to use PayPal, Cash App, and mobile money, you can, you can just go ahead and click on the blue bar. If you want to use Super Chat and Super Sticker, it's still okay. What is important is your, your faith action. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your mercy that is speaking over our life. We thank you for your mercy. Mercy over judgment. Mercy over judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. Mercy over judgment, Lord. Mercy over judgment. Let your mercy speak for us. Let your mercy speak over judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your mercy speak over judgment. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, unbelievers will not make a mockery of your Christianity. Unbelievers will not make a mockery of your Christianity because you made a mistake. They will not say, I heard you serve a merciful God. How merciful has that God been to you? Why is God punishing you for this? Why is the mercy of God not working in your life? Unbelievers will not make a mockery of your Christianity in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, the counsel of the wicked will not stand in your life. Because God will show mercy. The counsel of the wicked will not stand in your life. Because God will show mercy. The counsel of the wicked will not stand in your life. Because God will show mercy. The counsel of the wicked will not stand in your life. Because God will show mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. The counsel of the wicked will not stand in your life. Because God will show you mercy. God will show you mercy. God will show you mercy. Mercy over judgment. Thank you, Lord. Two more minutes. Two more minutes, and, and we're going to pray for the offerings and the seeds. Two more minutes. Thank you, Lord. If this is the first time you are joining our live session, if you are here, you've not given your heart to Christ. You are watching this live session because maybe somebody just shared on their timeline and you decided to watch. You've got to give your heart to Christ. Before you can, you can, you can, you can benefit of the mercy of God. You've got to be a child of God in the first place. If you want to give your heart to Christ, please repeat this prayer after me. Or you want to rededicate yourself to Christ. Maybe you had run short. Maybe you fell because of sin and you decided to distance yourself from God. This is the perfect opportunity to come back to God. That mercy will prevail in your life over judgment. Please repeat this word after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you today. And I acknowledge that I am a sinner. Lord, I know I cannot save myself. I know I have sinned and I have come short of your glory. Have mercy upon me, O God. Erase my name from the book of dead. Write my name in the book of life. Come into my heart. Become my personal Lord and Savior. Let your mercy reign over judgment in my life. In Jesus' mighty name. If you make that prayer, let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for your son and your daughter that has come back to you. Lord, I pray. Let your mercy reign over judgment in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Erase their name from the book of death. Write their name in the book of life. Please, Lord, wherever they have fallen short, let your mercy speak for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever they went wrong, 
Let your mercy speak for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray mercy over judgment, Lord. Mercy over judgment. Let your mercy speak in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's pray for the offerings right now. Father, we thank you for the giving of your people. Thank you, Lord, for everyone that has given an offering on PayPal, on Cash App, on Super Chat, on Super Sticker. I pray, Lord, may you bless their giving in the mighty name of Jesus. May their bands never run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. May their bands never run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for a thousandfold return in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray for everyone that is planting a seed, connecting to mercy over judgment. Lord, Please honor their faith. Honor their giving. Let mercy reign in their life over judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone that has planted a seed on PayPal, on Cash App, on Superchat, connecting to mercy over judgment, I connect you to your seed. I pray may God honor your giving. Let his mercy reign in your life over judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. And for those who are giving thanksgiving offering, you're giving thanksgiving offering, thanking God for mercy over judgment. May the Lord honor his word in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Indeed, let his mercy prevail over judgment in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I don't deserve it, but yet I am blessed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't deserve it, but yet. I am blessed. Oh. I don't deserve it, but yet I am blessed. Somebody, that is going to be your confession. You will say, I do not deserve these good things that are happening to me. But yet, by the mercy of God. Hey, and I'm a shatter of a high. Your confession will be, I do not deserve the things that are happening to me. But yet God is doing it for me. God is doing it. I do not deserve it. But my God is doing it. Thank you, Lord. I do not deserve this. The mercy of God. The mercy of God. I do not deserve it. But yet I am blessed. I do not deserve these things that are happening to me. But I am blessed. The wicked are going to, oh, oh, Malana Mashatai. Those who are watching and they are expecting that the wrath of God will consume you, they will wait in vain. Those who are waiting for the wrath of God to consume you will wait in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. They are waiting, expecting that the wrath of God will consume you. They will wait in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. Nobody is receiving this. I say they will wait in vain. Those who are watching, they are waiting to see you being consumed by the wrath of God. They will wait in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. They will wait in vain. Only with their eyes will they see how God is lifting you, how God is raising you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Let's take our daily declarations together. The favor of the Lord is upon me, my hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. The favor of the Lord is upon me, my hands and my feet are anointed for exploits in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, family, let's give the video a thumbs up. Let's touch the like button. I know we have had more than 70 persons or more than even 80 people join us here for prayers. Please, let's, let's touch the like button, everybody, if you have not done that already. Please give the video a thumbs up. They will wait in vain. They will wait in vain. They will, they will wait in vain. Alana mashata la baba handi kataina. Elene mo shida da bahanda ka sobrehenda shabalatai. They will wait in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Those who are still planting their seeds, connecting to prophetic prayers. I connect you to the mercy over judgment in, might, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the mercy of God prevail in your life over judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. Your PayPal seed, your supercharged seed. I pray let the mercy of God prevail over judgment in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I bless your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you.
you are blessed of God. The mercy of God will prevail over judgment in your life. And so even if you are here, you've not planted a seed, you do not have money to plant a seed, I connect you to the prophetic prayers. I join my faith in it with yours. And I make a prophetic intercession for you. The mercy of God will prevail over judgment in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. We plant a seed of faith and we pray that the mercy of God will prevail over judgment in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, the mercy of God will prevail. The mercy of God will prevail in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless you, family. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in our next live session. Please, if this was the first time you joined us and you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that whenever you are, we are live or God gives us a prophetic word, you will not miss out. Hallelujah. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you mightily and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Those who are still planting your, their seeds, may the judgment of, may the mercy of God prevail over judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. May the mercy of God prevail over judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. May the mercy of God prevail over judgment in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you all, family. Yes. I don't deserve it, but yet I am blessed. That is going to be your confession. I do not deserve these things that are happening to me, but yet I am blessed. Yet I do not deserve it. Those are the most humbling things. The things that make you humble in the presence of God is when you go before God and you know that you do not deserve the things that people think. People might not even know. There are certain things that you have done wrong. It's just between you and God. People do not know, but you know in your heart of hearts that people are asking themselves, but why is God not blessing this person? Why is this thing not happening? You know between you and God that you, you, you've, you've not done right by him. <clears throat> but there is a blessing that comes upon you and you get into the presence of God and you tell him, Lord, I know I do not deserve these things. I do not deserve what you are doing. This is your mercy in my life. This is your mercy speaking for me. I do not deserve this, but yet I am blessed. I do not deserve this, but yet I am blessed. That will be your confession in the mighty name of Jesus. That will be your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. That will be your testimony in Jesus' mighty name. I do not deserve it, but yet I am blessed. I do not deserve it, but yet I am blessed. I do not deserve it, but yet I am blessed. Oh, Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise, Lord. Only you can do this for us. Only you, Lord. Only you. Only you can do these things for us. We do not deserve it, but your mercy keeps speaking for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. I've got to go right now, family. We can do this all day, but I've got to go right now. I love you guys so much. I love you guys so much. You are always in my prayers. You are always in my thoughts. Please, touch the like button. Share this life. Were you blessed by this live broadcast? Were you blessed by this live broadcast? Did this live broadcast bless you? If it did bless you, please share. Let someone equally be a beneficiary of what God is doing here. Let, I mean, let somebody be a beneficiary of this word. Please share it on your status. Share on your timeline. Share on your WhatsApp. Just share. Let somebody come and pray with us and just partake of the blessing of God. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Anything that blesses you, recommend it to somebody you know. Just send them the link. Let them pray along with us. And you know, hallelujah. God bless you. I've got to go right now, family. God bless you. I love you so much. 
I would see you in our next live session. Until then, remain blessed, everybody. Bye-bye.